The Road to Neptune 4.0 and this time around I want to show you the brand new ENCODE version 3.0. This is the revamped user interface for our media converter ENCODE and just like in the old version you have the option to just ENCODE any audio and video file to any audio and video format available. So basically if you load your video in you have the option to choose the container format. You can choose between video container formats and audio container formats. So you can just simply also extract the audio from a video file. Let's choose MKV here. You can see in the summary that it summarizes the video codec options and the audio codec options. If you want to change something you can just click in here and you have the options to change the video codec options just like for example the codec itself, the bitrate, the resolution. Here you have some predefined resolutions but we also offer a custom value if you like to set the uh, a custom resolution in here. You can set an aspect ratio as well as you can also enable two-pass encoding or deactivate the video which is quite handy if you want to extract only the audio part of a video file. Then you have some options for the audio codec as well, just, to, just like for example setting the audio codec, the bitrate, the fre sample frequency, the channels and the language which is pretty handy especially in MKV formats where you might have multiple language streams, audio streams basically in the file where you can change the language stream that you want to extract. You can also deactivate the audio if you want to only convert the video and remove the audio from a video file. If you're ready you can just press encode. This will bring up this nice encoding information and if you want to work further on you can just simply minimize this, um, add some new settings to the queue, just like for example I want an OGV of this file also, add it to the queue and let me abort this. By the way, when you abort the f encoding, it will just in simply stop the encoding process uh, at the time where you abort the encoding so that the file itself will be written until this position, basically. So for most of the codecs, you then have the option to just simply play the video back until this encoding position was done. And yeah, you can, if you add something to the queue, of course, you can see the queue in the show queue view, where you can see also the summary of what will be done, just like, for example, the source and the target file, the video codec itself, the options for the video codec, the audio codec, and so on. You can delete or remove uh, items from the queue as well. And you hit, can hit the encode button again to start encoding. Also you have the option to just simply change or see the encoding command which is used powered by FFmpeg. So if you have some special cases, some special parameters or options you can just simply add them in here or you can just copy this command and uh, paste it to a terminal to execute it. Then of course we have a history which shows all the encoding um, options basically all the files that you encoded in the last couple of days. And you also have a very detailed log view which allows you to see the encoding process of the various different files. And this is very handy if you get some error messages usually the bitrate is set too low for the codec or the aspect ratio or the video resolution is uh, set in a format that the codec does not understand so it will tell you in here in the log so you can change this and fix it so that you can then simply encode your video just like you want to. So this is basically encode 3.0. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, be prepared for Neptune 4.0.